Hello, my name is April. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Cricut Easy Press 2. I will also be doing a demo with the project that comes inside of the box. I ordered mine off of Amazon. The listing price is $239. It was a deal right now for $169, but I purchased mine used like new condition and paid $137.08. So the description of the used like new was just that the box would be damaged and let's see what it looks like on the inside. So this is the box that it comes in. I ordered the 12 by 10. Um, so let's just go over the box real quick. It's a Cricut Easy Press 2. Iron on success in 60 seconds or less. And you can also use it with the infusible ink that Cricut sells. There are a couple sample projects on the box that kind of shows you what you can do with your Easy Press t shirts, pillows, comforters, tote bags. I'm not sure what type of material this is. It looks like a pillow, also. And this woman is wearing an apron. All right, let's do this. I'm going to put the box flat and pull it out. Or I could just take this out right now. So this is just a packet that comes with it. We'll open that up and see what's inside. Here is the beginner project. You get a C to iron onto the bag that your Easy Press will come inside of. All right, let me lay this down and pull it out. So your heat press will come in this canvas dust cover bag. And then underneath of that is your heat press rest stand where you'll place it between projects. So it has a three prong power cord. And let's take it out of the bag and see what it looks like. You will need some scissors to remove this plastic film that's over your Easy Press. So let me go grab some scissors. So I'm going to puncture a hole right here in the hollow part so that I don't damage my machine. So be extremely careful with your scissors. And that should do it. And then you'll be able to just take the plastic off. This is what the plate looks like underneath of your Easy Press 2. So this is your power button, your temperature button, your timer, plus and minus, and then this one is to start. So once you set your temperature and your timer, and then the machine will reach its desired temperature, and then the light will blink, and then that's when you'll know you're ready to start your project. You will also need your scissors to remove the tape that's around your cord before you plug it in. And again, you'll need a three-prong socket. Okay, so I did open this off camera. This is where your um, registration number will be on this little card, and you'll want to register your Easy Press 2 through the Cricut.com website or Cricut.com backslash register. This is just a welcome booklet. You get a quick start guide. And then also the safety instructions and the FCC statement and warranty information. All right, let's get started on our first project. So we're going to set the time and temperature. We'll plug in power, plug in power on the press. So it is plugged in, so we're just gonna power it on. Press the power button. And setting the temperature to 290 degrees Fahrenheit or 145 degrees Celsius. So you'll press the temperature button and then we're going to go up to 290. And then for the timer, we are setting it to six or 30 seconds, which it already is. So the heat press is warming up right now. It's at about 90, 95 degrees. So while the temperature is heating up, we're going to prep our bag. 
I did purchase the Easy Press mat in the size 20 by 16. That was, I think they retail for $25.99. Amazon also has them in, uh, by different vendors. So if you don't want to get the Cricut brand, you can buy a different one or you can also use a towel. Now we're going to press over the drawstring bag for five seconds just to get out any wrinkles and make sure we have a smooth surface before we press on our vinyl. Just press gently. I'm going to move mine around a little bit. And just five seconds is enough per the instructions. And then I'm going to flip it and do the same on the other side. So for the C, you can just place it digitally centered on your bag, or if you just want it anywhere, that's fine. If you want it directly in the center, you can fold your bag into four quarters and then press it gently, and then you'll see where the center of your bag is. So just fold it in half, and then fold it again, and then press it like this, and you'll know where the center is, and then you can line up your C. I'm just gonna visually center my C. Okay, now that I have it where I want it, I'm going to get the heat press, or the easy press, I'm sorry, and lie it on top, and then press the green C. Now the timer will count down. You'll just wanna apply light pressure. It beeps when it's done. You'll lift it, looking good so far, and then we're gonna flip it over and then press for an additional 15 seconds. Don't forget to adjust your timer to 15 seconds. Light pressure. Okay, it just beep. I'm gonna remove it, flip it over, and then peel off the protective layer. I'm going to start here on the bottom corner and lift it up. And then go here. And we are all done with our first project. It's glitter vinyl. Feels nice, looks nice. When you're finished with your project, don't forget to power off your machine. Thanks so much for tuning in to my video. I hope you enjoyed it. This Easy Press 2 was so easy to set up. The first project went very, very well. Looking forward to many more projects. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Share this videos with your friend. And Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.